This video is a project that we did at uh, my contracting company. A lot of different people were involved. This actually isn't a job that I was involved with the design phase, but what ha occurred is, is this was a very large home, three air conditioners, and it had very high relative humidity both indoors and in the attic. Uh, above 65%, pretty, pretty typically in the middle of a hot summer day. We went in, we did a load calculation, and we found that it had fairly new equipment, but it was drastically oversized. So we came in and we downsized all of the equipment, and we also added a dehumidifier to the attic because previously somebody had put Isony and open cell foam in the attic, but they had left the attic vents open. So we sealed the attic vents and installed a dehumidifier in the attic. Now the dehumidifier we chose was the SD12 by Ultra Air. And the reason we did that is because we wanted to dehumidify the attic, but we also wanted to control its temperature because we'd removed so much load from the house. Now this was going to be new condition space. And so we didn't want the sensible temperature to go up too high, but we also mostly wanted to get the moisture out. So we used the SD12, which has a remote condenser, and it also has the dehumidifier portion on the inside that conditions the air without adding additional heat to the space. So it actually removes a small amount of heat. It's around 6,000 BTUs per hour, so uh, about half of a ton of air conditioning in order to control the conditions in the attic. And so I want to just quickly show the project and some of the process. Not that, you know, the video taking wasn't the best. It was just kind of on the fly. Uh, but just to give you an overview of what we did in this home. And for those of you who are contractors or technicians, just to help you realize that there are a lot of people who will spend in order to have this problem really solved. And in turn, that's what we did. We gave them a proposal to solve this problem, and they went ahead and went with it. Have a look. This is what a building performance three-zone changeout looks like. Four days, six or so people the whole time, three systems and a dehumidifier, foam, additional foam slash isonine insulation, quite a, quite a job. The reason why these things are such big tickets to do right is because they are a crazy work. <laughs> for me. I just take it Alright, so here is one side of the house. We did two of these um, infinities on this side of the house. The house was having a lot of moisture issues. And then we installed an Ultra Air SD12 on it. And uh, it's draining a little bit and fits and starts. We have a P-trap on it, but it's acting like it's got static pressure that's holding it back. So I'm going to look at that. We may increase the, the trap depth a little bit. But... Looks good. This is the line cover. We painted it to match everything else. Need to do a little touch-up painting and paint there, but it looks, looks turning out pretty good. We put in two uh, ICM 493s um, for the condensers because we've learned that in Florida these things have a lot of issues with high voltage events taking out the inverter boards. We don't have disconnects right here because that is where it, that's the panel that they're fed from. So line of sight so that acts as the disconnect good old vna zero green speed these yeah. are green speed right yeah I'm pretty this sure. one's not oh this is a vna oh, okay this is a vna okay oh wow we can mark them that's fancy here is the other side of the house our third infinity another icm 493 here anytime we're coming out of the ground we use this corrugated uh, irrigation piping just to help protect it from the lawn implements. These things are quiet because I'm always There's something else. And the air handler's right in here. So a couple things we always do is we always put the dryers on the inside so that way they don't corrode. In our climate, we have such high outdoor dew points and um, coastally, if we're ever near the coast, you have a lot of... Uh, salt air that sort of thing so they can corrode out really easily and it's also better in cool mode because that's what we test them and we run them first it's going to protect the indoor txv and so since we are run testing in cool mode first if there is any solid contamination in the lines you want them to hit the filter dryer before it hits the metering device another thing is which is you know standard in most of the country but in central florida we see this done incorrectly a lot is we want to trap and then vent at the unit itself um, and then make sure that we have proper drain pitch rather than putting the trap outside if we can help it. All right, so here's the SD12. Here in this attic, 
nice thing about this is it doesn't have a compressor in it, so you don't have to worry about vibrations. You can see on its feet, we just built a platform for it in the trusses. And uh, we just connected a duct to it just to kind of bring it around to blow the air away from the intake. But just very simple. And this is our, it's kind of dark in here, so it's hard to see. This is our intake. Just uh, a nice air filter accessed here. Pretty much the nicest dehumidifier on the market. And uh, it connects into that, that mini split style condenser. So it still does reheat the air, but just not, not to the extent that you're gonna have uh, a sensible increase in temperature. It's a slight sensible decrease. So I can feel a slight sensible decrease. And I'll show you what that is on that field piece probe. Okay, so we've got the field piece psychrometers in there mapped to return and supply for this um, dehumidifier. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. Um, you can see that we, because this, this one has the uh, sensible cooling effect, there is actually a slight decrease in supply temperature, which is abnormal for a dehumidifier, but that's part of what makes it what it is. And um, I didn't set in the airflow, so the airflow is not necessarily correct, but... Um, but you can see 6.2 pounds per hour. So 6.2 times 24 equals 148. So it's, it's right there. I think it's, what did you say, Max? 150? 150 at... At these conditions, essentially. Yeah, so we're, we're right where this should be. And that's, and that's essentially how you check a dehumidifier to make sure that it's working using MeasureQuick. You don't really need to do anything else. It's got no ports on it, so you can't connect to the refrigerant side. That is that. Okay, so I lied. It does, Max says it does have ports on it, so we can connect. And we did because we added some charge. That's right, because of the length of line set. All right, so I'm not mapping it. I'm just showing you what we're reading. So 61.4 degrees Fahrenheit at 64.8% relative humidity. We'll map it to the supplier, and I can show you what that is. Supply wet bulb of 54. So in essence, the air is cool, but it is a much lower RH than what normal supplier would be coming off of an air conditioner. I don't know if I can f find dew point. That is an extremely low dew point. That's a 48.7 degree dew point, which is really, really low without, it's not going to sensibly cool this space to the extent that an air conditioner would if we stuck it up here. Um, but it will dehumidify it uh, really, 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 really well and consistently dehumidify it regardless of the temperature, which is a really big factor. I mean, there is an operating range, but it's going to dehumidify under all conditions. Hey, thanks for watching. Some of you are going to want to know, did this solve the problem? And yes, it did. Actually, uh, only a few weeks later, now we're retesting and the space humidity is well controlled at 50% and the attic humidity and dew point are very low. In fact, the attic humidity is right about 40%. And our dew point is also in the 40s, which means ductwork isn't sweating, unit isn't sweating, and now it acts as a moisture sink, meaning that, if anything, that's one of the driest points in the house versus being one of the wettest points and bringing moisture into the space, which in Florida, that's a really big deal. The customer's comfortable. The customer's happy. Air noise is a minimum now because we reuse most of the old ductwork, and so now your air velocity is lower. All of the ducts are in the conditioned space, so it's a win-win-win all the way around, and uh, great, great project. Installers like doing it as well because they had time to do it. Some people will say, well, hey, I could do a project like that in three days. But on a project like this, you really don't want to rush. We went through and did a full commissioning on all the equipment. We tested the dehumidifier, each individual piece of equipment using MeasureQuick. And now that customer is going to have a really great system for years to come. Thanks for watching.